Well, this is the time of year when early college applicants might start getting their financial aid letters, but this year you may be waiting a little longer. That's right. That's because the release of the free application for federal student aid, otherwise known as the FAFSA, was delayed this year. So colleges and universities are waiting on FAFSAs too. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal. Preparing for college can be a lot. That's why some families hire Class 101. We work with high school families that are trying to give their kid an advantage through high school to do well so that they have uh, good opportunities for college. But opportunities are often pricey. That means he talks with students and their families about how they're going to pay for college. For most families, that includes filling out the free application for federal student aid known as the FAFSA. It's kind of like a tax form. You know, if you're comfortable with a tax form, you're probably comfortable with the FAFSA. But most of us, I don't think are comfortable with the tax form. This year, the Department of Education overhauled that form. The goal? To make it simpler. But the overhaul pushed the form's release date from the typical October 1st to January 1st. And when it did land, there were glitches. We're now in a situation where the colleges are feeling a pinch too. They're trying to tell everybody how much they're going to be getting as an offer letter, but they don't have the information yet. And Melissa Smartin, who is the executive director of financial aid at Butler University, can confirm. We do not have results of a single FAFSA yet. The DOE said schools will receive FAFSA eligibility information starting in late January, but it's late January and Smurden said they don't have a date yet. She added what's more alarming to her, the lack of software testing. We've not had the test of being able to receive them, the test of the new format, and the test of our systems and being able to load those and do all the things and edits and review that we need to do. My name's Alex. That means they're preparing for what could be a tight turnaround. So we may even have some extra part-time help because it is a massive amount of work to do. So what can parents do? If you have filled out the FAFSA, the short answer is nothing. If you have not filled out the FAFSA, get the ball rolling. While you have till June 30th to fill it out, funds and aid typically go down with time. So hurry up and wait. Yes, and this year you're going to want to take the step a little earlier as far mm. as getting an FSA or federal student aid ID first because that can take a few days to mm. verify and you can't start that form without your ID. Oof. And is it, isn't it true even if you don't plan to take aid that you should still file? Yeah, because even if you think you're largely cash flowing it, mm -hmm. scholarship opportunities right. very often require this yes. because okay. What comes first is merit, then federal aid, and then state aid. Yeah. Got it. So All right. We're Thanks, kind Allison. of in that awkward middle part right now. <laughs> Appreciate it, as always. <laughs> sure. All right.